The long beard was evidence of a promise kept, because only a return to action would bring about its removal. It was the 12th of December, 2016. At the Frankie, Francesco Magnanelli's knee collapsed. The captain left the pitch in tears, and his team, out of Europe and in trouble in the league, wept with him. The Puma had been ever-present in Sassuolo's greatest era. From the fourth division in Serie C2 to skipper of a Europa League side. But now, at 32, he was forced to start again. After five months of work, he was ready. A well-worked team move led to a goal on his comeback and the end of the overgrown beard. Magnanelli's love affair with the Nero Verdi is far from over. I'm really pleased with how the players are performing and I'm happy for our captain, who I really wanted to see playing again. We planned that set-piece routine exactly for him. There's no better way to make your comeback than by getting a goal. Former Chievo Verona man Marco Andreoli was also confirming his return from months of going beyond the pain barrier. The defender had ruptured his Achilles tendon playing for Spanish outfit Sevilla and his career was at risk. But after a year of rehabilitation, he was able to play again. The loss of his father, to whom his captain Mauro Icardi dedicated a goal, added to the strain. But it was Andreoli who helped launch Inter back to winning ways after eight matches without victory, including four straight defeats. I think that the commitment to the Inter shirt shown by the likes of Andreoli and Santon, who hadn't played for a while, as well as D'Ambrosio and Nagatomo, coupled with the quality of Brozovic, Perezic, Kandreva and Eder, were vital to us today. I think that those who ran hard today can become the foundations for the Inter team of the future. Magnanelli and Andreoli, they survived the tough times and are now reaping the reward.